Moving to a more sustainable world is not about throwing away all the progress that humanity's made. We need to look at individual products, look at how they function and say, what is the intervention we need to make to make that fundamentally more sustainable? Do we need to plant more trees in the UK? Yes, we do. Do we need to protect those trees as they grow? Yes, we absolutely do. Should that protection come at the cost of our environment? Absolutely not. Every time I go on a walk, I see these conventional plastic tree shelters that I know are only adding to the burden of microplastics in our soils. Our challenge was to find a new low carbon material which would protect the tree the same way than existing plastic, but has a more sustainable end of life solution. Our testing start in the lab with accelerated weather aging. This process speed up natural exposure to sunlight, rain and heat, but within a few months we can predict how the material will behave in the natural environment over a few years. We can see that the material is strong and flexible for the first four to five years. However, for the sample which have been exposed to an equivalent of five to seven years, we can see the material become brittle and crack. This brittleness allows the shelter to break up and little pieces of biodegradable plastic will fall onto the forest floor. We have to test our bioplastic to prove that they are actually able to biodegrade on the forest floor. Standard industry testing is carried out in composting condition, which is high humidity and high temperature. But this is not the condition that will occur in the natural environment. Our tests have been matched with the soil type, lower humidity and lower temperature we can find in the UK forest floor. Looking at samples of partly biodegraded material through a scanning electron microscope, we can see where the microorganism actually digested the plastic. They're actually eating it. Opinion within the world of tree shelters is changing rapidly. Every other phone call I get is somebody saying, when are you going to develop a bio-alternative? We absolutely should keep using tree shelters, in my opinion. If you use one, you are likely to get establishment rates in the UK of somewhere around 80, 90% on a good site. The only thing is they're made from plastic and they are seldom removed from the tree once they've completed their natural life. We've made a tree shelter that does everything our standard tree shelter does, as well as our standard tree shelter does it. The only difference is the bio shelter doesn't need to be removed and that it will break down in natural environment with no toxic residue. We've done every single functional test we can do on this product. We've done every single lab-based test we can do in this product. But now it's the time to test it in large quantity in the real world. We are sending out tens of thousands of tree shelters to be planted with real saplings in real sites all around the UK, from the highlands of Scotland to the south coast of England. Over the next few years, we're going to be monitoring how well the tree shelters function, how well the trees within them grow and develop, and ultimately how the tree shelters fragment and then biodegrade in the soils. I believe bio-based and biodegradable plastics can perform just as well as their oil-based counterparts, but without the damage to the environment. This is just one way that we can show by intelligent material design, we can produce highly functional products that don't cost the earth.